Hello and welcome back to another video. Today is going to be a little bit of a different one. I'm going to be synthesizing boric acid from sodium tetraborate. However, I did mess up quite a bit on the stoichiometry of it. You see, I partially blame my scale for turning off halfway through measuring the hydrochloric acid, but I also partially blame myself for being too lazy to remeasure it. Now, I was originally going to scrap this video and just upload the next thing that works out. However, everything else in this video was correct, so I figured I would instead upload this video to show you guys the procedure of it. Now, my videos are meant to be informative, so rather than showing you guys the stoichiometry I used, which is incorrect, I figured I would show you guys the actual correct stoichiometry. So here it is on the screen right here. This is close enough to what I was doing here. So in this beaker is our sodium tetraborate. I added a stir bar to this and tried to mix it. However, as you can probably imagine, that didn't really go anywhere. I then slowly began addition of the hydrochloric acid. However, nothing really happened, so I just decided to dump in the rest. I then broke up the solidified sodium tetraborate in the beaker and began stirring it around with a glass stir rod. Eventually, this freed up the mixture enough to where everything could start stirring automatically. I then let the mixture stir for a few more minutes, and while it stirs, I think it's time for a commercial break. Hello, do you want more Science with James? Do you want to follow one of my procedures in write-up form? Do you want to get exclusive write-ups that may not make it to this YouTube channel? Then look no further, because we now have a website. JamesScience.com is the one place where I have all of my links to my various areas of the internet, and I post occasional write-ups there that you may not be able to find on the YouTube channel. So, make sure to check it out. A link will be in the description. JamesScience.com Welcome back from the commercial. Now, after the solution has been stirring for around 5 to 10 minutes, I took it off the hot plate and began filtering it. After it was done filtering, I washed the beaker out with a little bit of cold water and added this to the filter funnel. After this, I took the filter paper out of the funnel and began filtering it using the Doug's Lab method of drying. Over the course of a few days, the boric acid slowly dried out, and after around two days, we got an almost completely dry product. Now, since I got the stoichiometry off, this is, of course, a very impure product, so in the next video, or one of the next videos, I will be recrystallizing this product. I'll be using the boric acid in a future series, a long time away from now, where I make elemental boron. And in a video that's coming soon, I plan to look at this and many more chemicals under the microscope to observe their crystal structure.